With this question, we could put this into Desmos and graph these inequalities. Um, I don't think that's useful here, mostly because this ends up being a plug points into equations question in disguise. So we clearly have equations. Uh, they're technically inequalities, but you know, it's equations. They're things that we can plug into for X and Y. And so if we had a point, we would want to test it out. Now we don't always need to have the full X, Y point. What we could do is just, if we had half of a point, we could plug that in. And that's what they're telling us here. They're telling us half of the point is Y as 53, right? So the X is unknown. They're gonna ask us about the X, but the Y they're telling us just straight up is 53. And that's what makes this more about arithmetic to me than a system of inequalities, a system of equations. And normally with systems, I'm gonna graph them. But here, they're kind of just telling me a number to plug in, so it's much easier. Um, so plugging into the top equation doesn't really do anything. It just reminds us that yes, 53 is greater than 14, so fine. Uh, but plugging it into the second equation will let us solve for x, right? So uh, 4x plus 53 is less than 18. So it doesn't matter that it's an inequality um, because the, the rules of algebra are basically still the same, right? So we subtract 53 from both sides and we will get that 4x is less than, let's do that in our calculator, 18 minus 53 is negative 35. Some of you might be tempted, you kind of maybe vaguely remember that there's a rule with inequalities with something with negatives and we switch the direction of the inequality. That does not apply here. It's not when we subtract, it's when we multiply or divide by a negative number, then we flip the sign. But we're not doing that here. In fact, on this next step, we're gonna divide by a positive number. So it's still division, but it has no impact on the inequality. We just kind of solve normally. So the fours go away, x is less than, and then negative 35, divided by four, it's not a nice number, but I'll put it here, negative 8.75. This is where decimals are really helpful because now they want what number, basically 4x, fits this um, inequality, which has a value where x is less than negative 8.75, and hopefully it's obvious that it is a. Uh, just remember, when you're on the negative side of kind of like the number line, the smaller numbers kind of look bigger, right? Nine is, or I should say negative nine, is smaller than negative 8.75 because in our number line, it's further to the left, right? So negative nine would be here, negative eight would be here, and negative 8.75 would be somewhere like here. So the further to the left means smaller, means less than, so that might throw you off, but hopefully you would just see the other choices here and be like, oh no, that, that doesn't make sense, that negative five would be the answer and, and not five or nine, so hopefully, that would save you. But uh, like I said at the beginning, this is really just about plugging in and solving. This is really not about systems. Uh, the SAT likes to do this. They like to take an easy concept and disguise it so that it looks way harder. Um, so just have a little bit more confidence in yourself to try things because you know a lot of times something that may look hard may actually be really, really easy once you just get started.